Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. We're taking a look today at a couple of new high-performance external solid-state drives from Crucial. This is the X9 Pro, and this one is the X10 Pro. And these are geared at creators who need a lot of sequential read and write performance. And these are comparable to the Samsung T7s and the SanDisk Extremes that we've looked at previously. And we're going to put these drives to the test here in just a second. But I do want to let you know, in the interest of full disclosure, that these came in free of charge from Crucial. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. They are not sponsoring this review, nor is anyone reviewing or approving what you're about to see before it was uploaded. So let's get into it now and see what these drives are all about. Now, the price point on these drives is going to vary based on when you see this video. So I would suggest checking out the affiliate link in the description so you can see what the current pricing is. For example, this drive is heavily discounted today, the day that I'm shooting the video, but that might not be the case two weeks from now if you happen to come across this video later. So check the link and you'll get the best pricing. I found that these are very competitive with the competing drives out there from Samsung and SanDisk and WD, so the pricing did not seem outrageous to me. Now this drive has two flavors. This is the X9 Pro and this is the X10 Pro. The only difference between these drives, besides the color, is the interface that they support. Now here's where it gets confusing. The silver drive here supports USB Type-C Gen 2, which means that you could get a theoretical bandwidth of 10 gigabits per second from its connector here. The black drive here, the X10 Pro, supports a different USB standard called 3.2 2x2. And if your computer has a 2x2 port on board, and unfortunately most don't, this drive should deliver about double the performance of this one, which is why this one's called the X10 and this one's called the X9. The reality though is that most computers don't have support for the faster interface here. And as you'll see in a minute, these two drives perform pretty much the same on most computers that are not equipped with a two by two USB port. Now to be clear, this drive is going to work on any computer that you plug it into, but to get its full performance, you're going to need a computer that's equipped with USB 2x2, and just about every computer that I've reviewed over the last three or four years since this standard got finalized has yet to be equipped with 2x2 support because it's an optional feature. So for most folks, unless you are absolutely certain that you've got a 2x2 port on board, the Silver X9 Pro here is going to be all that you need, and there really is no performance penalty between these two on a standard USB-C Gen 2 port. Now to be fair here, Crucial's competitors are also marketing higher performance drives that only work with this obscure standard. That includes SanDisk, WD, and Seagate. So Crucial's not the only one here, and I bet they're probably getting their controllers for these drives from the same supplier. That said, these drives are very nicely constructed. They're very lightweight. They're made out of metal. These are IP55 rated, which means they could probably get splashed on a little bit. I wouldn't submerse them in water, but they are nicely sealed here and feel quite rugged. They are, of course, solid state, so there's no moving parts, so they can survive getting tossed around or dropped a little better than a mechanical drive can. They also have a pretty neat little uh, indicator light here for activity, both for reads and writes. So when the drive is plugged in, you'll see that light illuminated, and when it's got activity, it will blink. There's only one port on these, of course, a USB-C port you'll see here on the back, and that, of course, will plug into your computer. The two drives they sent over are two terabytes each, but they also have larger and smaller capacities available. For cable, you just get this short USB-C to C cable. They don't give you a USB-A cable in the box, so if you do want to connect it up to a larger USB-A port, you will have to get another cable or an adapter. So let's take a look now at some performance examples. I've got the X10 Pro here plugged into my Mac, and I've got the X9 Pro plugged into this Lenovo X1 Nano that we're going to be reviewing soon on the channel that they let us borrow for that review. And I'm going to click Start here on the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test at the same time. And as you can see, these drives perform relatively the same here. So on the Mac, the Black X10 Pro is doing about 840 megabytes per second on writes. We're reading at about 915 megabytes per second. I found on the MacBook Air in particular, its USB-C write speeds tend to be a little slower than Windows. And we're seeing that here on the Windows side where the X9 Pro is delivering about 885 megabytes per second on writes 
and about 955 megabytes per second on reads. But you'll notice that these drives, for the most part, are performing the same because neither of these computers, which are currently available in the marketplace to buy new, uh, do not support that 2x2 two two standard, but this is still great performance for a portable solid state drive. And according to Blackmagic here, uh, this will work with a variety of video formats and should have no trouble recording Blackmagic RAW or ProRes HQ and H.265 at 4K 60 frames per second or even higher. And on the Crystal Diskmark benchmark, we saw the drive here performs quite well against its competitors. The first two columns there are what Crystal Diskmark measured for the sequential reads and writes. And beyond that, you'll have the varying random reads and writes that the test puts the drives through. And often those are more telling because it'll show you how well the drive might do for gaming or for running an operating system or something. And as you can see here, these two drives are very competitive against the Samsung. And even the higher end SanDisk Pro Blade system is pretty close in overall performance to these drives. And these of course cost a lot less than that. So I think for creators looking for a decent video drive, these will do quite well. And I think they'll also do well for other functions like gaming. Now these will work with game consoles, but if you got a PS5 or an Xbox Series S or X, you'll find that the newer games designed for those new consoles do not support being run from USB media. Some do, but many don't. So the best thing you can do with one of these drives is to have your older backwards compatible games running off of here, which of course frees up the higher speed storage for the newer games. But beyond that, Compatibility on these drives should be pretty much universal with any device that supports external storage. The drives are formatted for XFAT, which should support most Windows and Mac devices. But if you're plugging them into something else and it doesn't get recognized, you may have to reformat the drive. But beyond that, compatibility here is pretty good. Now they do bundle some free trials of software with the drive, including a month of Adobe Creative Cloud. They have links here that'll take you to a website so you can download the most recent versions. They also give you a version of a Cronus True image for the Mac or Windows. The problem though is that this is a very limited piece of backup software. So it only works when the Crucial Drive is plugged in and you can't select individual files and folders to back up without upgrading to the paid version of the software. Additionally, you can't schedule backups unless you upgrade either. So it's a bit limited in that sense. Another piece of interesting software is the storage executive that they include as well. And this will give you some good diagnostic data on your drive, including the ability to update the firmware. And you can see how many spare blocks you've got available on the drive so you can figure out what its lifespan might be. These drives, like all drives, have a finite lifespan based on how much you're writing to them. And you'll be able to kind of monitor uh, how many blocks are going offline and shuffled back in as a result of that drive wear. They also have an option here for over provisioning, which presumably would let you uh, allocate some of those extra blocks manually to get a little bit more space on the drive, but it doesn't seem to work with these external disks. All I'm seeing when I click on this is the computer's internal drive. But beyond that, I think the utility is helpful. You'll also need to run a firmware update on the drive when you get it because they are adding an encryption feature that will let you encrypt the drive and unlock it with a password. That feature is only going to work on Windows and Mac, and you'll have to have the software running in order to do that, along with the firmware on the drive updated as well. Now just note that encryption feature was not available at the time I was recording this video, so I was unable to test it, but typically encryption doesn't usually result in any performance impact. Overall, I like these drives quite a bit. Again, I think for most people, I'm going to recommend the X9 Pro unless you know you've got the 2x2 support on your computer. I don't own a computer with 2x2 support, nor do I have any in the pile that I've got to review over there that do. So I was not able to test to see exactly what kind of performance you can get out of the X10. But again, I think in most cases, the X9 Pro is going to be more than enough. And as you saw, the performance on these drives is right up there with Samsung, SanDisk, and WD. I've long been a fan of Crucial because they're owned by Micron, a very well-respected chip maker that's been at this for quite a long time. I've been buying Crucial memory now for probably 25 years or more. So the uh, trustworthiness of this brand, I think, is right up there with some of the other ones that 
you might be familiar with. So all in, good stuff here from Crucial. They still have some of their lower cost drives out there, including their X6 that is often very inexpensive on a per gigabyte basis. So take a look at what they've got. I really like what they have put together here with these new drives. But again, I think the X9 Pro is going to be more than enough for most users. That's going to do it for now. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Brian Parker, Chris Allegretta, Hot Sauce and Video Games, Logic AGR, Tom Albrecht, and Amda Brown. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.